So I want to give us the kingdom vision is key characteristics. Okay. All right. These are uh, five characteristics of what we call kingdom vision is. And we're going to explain that in our closing piece, what is a vision is. But these are the five characteristics. Kingdom vision is a principal disciple is one who is one, what? Saved. 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 Okay, we talked about that. And we know we're saved by yeah, grace, grace through okay. faith in the Lord Christ, Jesus Christ, yeah. and thereby we enter the kingdom of God. Okay? Yeah. So people are saved. Okay? We don't want anyone on this campus who doesn't know they're saved. Yes, sir. Amen. Okay? And when you ask somebody if they're saved and they say yes, and that's when you explain it, we don't want to say because I do good, I, I try to do my best. I, I try. I'm saved by grace through faith. I believe on Jesus Christ. You know, all right, so we want to have a biblically valid response. A validated response. What's number two? Submit. 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 All right. So submission is a key characteristic for followers of Jesus Christ. That word submit. Sub means under. Submarine travel under the water. Okay? To submit means to place myself under someone else's authority. Right. If when the Bible says submit yourselves, uh, it means place yourself under another's authority. Yes, sir. That's yes. less popular today than it's ever been. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we don't believe in submission. For us, submission makes us weak. Yes, sir. But it takes more strength to submit than it does not to. Okay? So the strength of my character is seen in how able I am or willing I am to submit to those that God expects me to be submitted to. That, that, that's, that's how I prove the strength of my own character. Yes. When I'm unwilling or unable to submit, I prove I lack the strength to do it. I'm too weak. That's a weakness, not a strength for me. Oh, boy. That's good. All right. Who are some of the people we're supposed to submit to? All right. We should submit to law enforcement. All right. So, hold on. So, if I don't submit to the policeman, it's not because the policeman is weak. I'm too weak to submit. My employer. If I don't submit to my employer, not because the employer has a problem, I'm weak. Parents don't submit to their. I mean, the kids don't submit to their parents. Right. That's a weakness in the kid. Am I making sense? Amen. Who else? Submit. Why submit yourself to your own husband? As a, so that means place yourself what? Under, under his, authority. his authority. We don't like that anymore. It's, yeah. it's, it's so unpopular. Yeah. Right. Right. Y'all all do that first. What I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you do. <laughs> yeah. right. But 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 right. that's because it has been misdefined as a weakness. Right. Yes, right. Yes, okay. And we don't want to be the misdefinition. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. But if you know the true definition, mm -hmm. then you understand, I'm stronger when I can do that. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a strength. Now, remember this, anyone I submit myself to becomes more responsible than I am. That's it. That's mm -hmm. true. That's true. Absolutely. 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 Anyone I submit myself to, that person becomes more responsible Amen. and is held to a higher degree of accountability. That's it. Uh, that's <laughs> Okay. The Bible says, submit to your pastor, yeah. your spiritual leaders. Yeah. That's Romans 13, right? Yes, yes. Right. Okay. So, so then I have to do that. Now, in not doing that, that proves I am weak, weak myself. Yes, sir. The pastor is held to a higher level of accountability and responsibility. Yes. So then submission is necessary. Mm. Number three, Self souls. souls. All right, liberty and purity in the ministry of the time, pastoral support, missions, and other biblical offerings, and thereby endorsing the kingdom. Uh, supporting the kingdom financially is my endorsement of it. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Anything I give my money to, I'm endorsing that thing continually. I'm endorsing its increase. I'm endorsing its flourishing every time I give to it. Okay? When I, when I spend my money, I'm endorsing that product. Right. I'm endorsing that brand. Yes, sir. I'm endorsing that company, that corporation. Think about that. Your money is an endorsement. So if I endorse this ministry, my treasure will be here. And where my treasure is, there will my heart be also. That's the endorsement. You see? Yes, sir. All right? Very important. Uh, so we'll be one of the people who saved, submits, and souls, and then number four is what? Save. Okay? All right, we're talking about that very fast again. Okay? So we are helping people to study the Word of God, both grown-ups and children. Amen. Number five is what? Serve. Okay? So we are a serving culture. A, a, a culture saved, submitted, sowing, studying, serving people. Okay? Yes, sir. That's what, those are five characteristics that uh, describes our culture within this community of faith context. Okay. All, right? all right? Serving in the kingdom. You want to say serving? Serving. serving. All right? All right. Now, these are, this is how we use our spiritual gifts. Yes. Right. You want to say spiritual gifts. So spiritual everybody gifts. needs to serve. That's one of our five characteristics. Right. Okay? First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 11 to 12, gives us a curriculum about spiritual gifts. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Hold your Bible up there. This is we're going to... We're going to wrap up here. Okay? Based on this scripture, okay? yeah. every Christian has been entrusted with spiritual yes. gifts. Okay? God did not leave one Christian ungifted. Thank you. Not one. Thank you. All Christians have spiritual gifts. Got it? Okay. Now we need to understand that because gifts. Make you responsible. Uh, we ought not be ignorant, but not, not unaware of them. Right now, look at verse 3. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God says Jesus is cursed. No one can say Jesus is the Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, there are, verse 4, varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. Spirit. All right? So now, the provider of the gifts is the Spirit. Right. Right. He provides the gifts. He provides the gifts. the gifts. Okay? Yes. And there are varieties of ministries. Yes. Alright? But the same Lord. The same now, Lord. now get this now. Gifts <coughs> are connected to ministries. <coughs> Alright? Gifts have to be connected to ministries. Amen. Ministries are modes of serving. Mm -hmm. Gifts give you the capacity to serve. So the goal is for 100% of the members in the church to be connecting their gifts to ministries of service. Yes, sir. No one in the church should claim, I don't need to serve. That's a bogus claim. Got it? All right, he's a provider of these gifts, and the purpose of those gifts is for serving. Now, all right. Then he says, uh, but to each one is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. The manifestation, now he's talking about uh, all the gifts. Right. Okay. How do I know I have the Holy Spirit? Because there's a gift yes, that manifests. Yes, sir. And, and you're going to see the gift how? Because I'm using it to serve. I don't know you have the gift unless you serve with it. Yes, yes, yes. Make sense? That's the manifestation of it. That's how the gift manifests, is through serving. Okay? For the one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge, according to the same Spirit, another faith by the same Spirit, another gifts of healing by the same Spirit, another effective miracles, another prophecy, another distinguished spirits, another bearish kind of tongues, another interpretation of tongues, another, all that but, but one and the what? Same Spirit works all these things. Okay? 
So whatever the gifts are, this is not a comprehensive list of gifts. Right. It's just giving you a variety. Right, right, right. Whatever the gift is, it's still the same spirit. Yes. Right. And we have to answer to the same Lord. Right. I have to answer to the Lord for how I use the gifts yes. that I receive from the spirit. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. That's going to be yes. one of the most horrible days for a Christian to get to heaven. Yeah. And then you rebuke because you didn't use your gift. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I gave you all this. Mm -hmm. It's impossible for someone unsaved to have gifts. Yes, so you cannot have, have a spiritual gift. Not but that's the Holy Spirit didn't give you. Yeah. Right. He doesn't give a, a spiritual gift to an unspiritual person. Yeah, that's right. right. I was just saying, mm -hmm. On the side, I, I'm giving. I'm, I don't mean just necessarily because he's giving and stuff. He's no, no. It, okay, remember redeemed. redeemed. Okay. Right. When I'm born again of the Spirit, I, I get the gift of the Spirit through my being redeemed. That's right. 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 Okay. Right. You see? Right. So, Bishop, yeah. is there a way for people to, or for someone to help people cultivate their, their gifts? Yes. Like some people are stronger in their gifts and know it and naturally. Yes. So, so when we do spiritual gifts analysis, we have to discover. Right. A gift discovered still has to be developed. Yeah. Right. Okay? That's why the choir rehearsals every week. Right. 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 That's why teachers have to be trained. Right. I may have the gift to teach, but now right. i got to develop my gift. Right. Because I don't want to give God average. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, okay? I may have the gift of hospitality, but then I want to perfect that gift yeah. by learning how to do it better. Absolutely. <coughs> Yes. Yes. We may make a, uh, an effort like if we see a person out here, you know, just giving that money and just doing something, or we just, you know, a rich person, or we just assume he's saved, you know, mm -hmm. we're we supposed to at least try to find out if he's saved, you know, who, are you doing this for God or are you doing it for Satan? Should we, how can we handle that? Well, well it, 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 all, all that's very, 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 I want to uh, for this. no, no, I'm, I'm saying, that all depends on the particular situation. Right. Okay, so there's no cookie, cookie cutter and answer to that in a very general sense. Okay, but but let's say to your, your, your first question, because a person is giving away money and anything else does not mean they're Christian. Right. Okay, you can be a nice guy and go to hell. Right, right. So we witness the people, period. Right? Whether they're rich, poor, white, black, or brown, it doesn't matter. Yes. I just need clarification. Can you give me a definition of a spiritual gift? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay, a spiritual gift is a unique ability given to an individual by the Holy Spirit himself. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, so then, let me give you just a couple of examples. I, I like to take talk examples. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, talent and gifts are not the same. Okay, the, a spiritual gift is a, is a is a talent empowered by the spirit. Okay, that's what I was getting at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 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 I, let's just say I have the gift of administration. Mm -hmm. Bible talks about that. That's a gift. That means leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Then, but now when I do it empowered by the spirit, I'm not doing it in my own strength. So, yeah.
Yes. Okay. okay. And I mention that to you because if you look, if you look on the map today for State of Hemphill, you're going to discover that State of Hemphill is two blocks from the municipal courthouse right now on uh, 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 Houston Avenue, the courthouse right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. State of Hemphill only a couple blocks away from that. Right off of Memorial Drive. Right. Oh, right. 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 Some of the most expensive yeah, property in property. the city is where the church was. Wow. Private mm -hmm. mm -hmm. property. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. State. S T A T E, the black state. Mm -hmm. And Hemphill. Mm -hmm. That's where the church is located. Mm -hmm. And uh, Buffalo Bayou, right over there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and Memorial Drive uh -huh. mm -hmm. is there. Some of the most valuable mm -hmm. property mm -hmm. in the city. Mm -hmm. You can't hardly right. get right. more valuable property. No, no. Yeah. Okay. All right. And why would they why 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 they relocate? Uh, because whites persecuted them coming to church. They threw rocks through the windows. They threatened their safety. They wouldn't let them worship in freedom. And they were persecuted. It was racial persecution that drove them and you can't go to the police back then. No, right. This, 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 this is in the early nineteen 20s and 30s, yeah. you see? Yeah. So you couldn't call the police and, 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 call, and claim harassment. No. Because <laughs> they were sinners. Yeah. Right. You understand? And guess what's right over there right now? The police union. The police? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Wow. Okay? All right. So that's how they relocated the figure. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's how you got They moved a little further west. Okay. Here we go. No, <laughs> Okay. So I want to give us the kingdom vision is key characteristics. Okay. All right. These are uh, five characteristics of what we call kingdom vision is. And we're going to explain that in our closing piece, what is a vision is. But these are the five characteristics. Kingdom vision is, a principal disciple is one who is one, what? Saved. 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 Okay, we talked about that. And we were saved by yeah, grace, grace through faith in the Lord Christ, Jesus Christ and thereby we enter the kingdom of God. Okay? So people are saved. Okay? We don't want anyone on this campus who doesn't know they're saved. Yes, sir. Amen. Okay? And when you ask somebody if they're saved and they say yes and ask them to explain it, we don't want them to say because I do good, I, I'm trying to do my best. I, I try. I'm saved by grace through faith. I believe on Jesus Christ. You know, all right, so we want to have a, a biblically valid response. A valid response. What's number two? Submit. 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 Submit, all right? So submission is a key characteristic for followers of Jesus Christ. That word submit. Sub means under. Submarine travel under the water. Okay? To submit means to place myself under someone else's authority. Right. If when the Bible says submit yourselves, uh, it means place yourself under another's authority. Yes, sir. That's yes. less popular today than it's ever been. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. uh, yeah. we don't believe in submission. For us, submission makes us weak. Yes, sir. But it takes more strength to submit than it does not to. Okay, so the strength of my character mm -hmm. is seen in how able I am or willing I am to submit to those that God expects me to be submitted to. That, that, that's, that's how I prove the strength of my own character. When I'm unwilling or unable to submit, I prove I lack the strength to do it. I'm too weak. That's a weakness, not a strength for me. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Who are some of the people we're supposed to submit to? All right. We should submit to law enforcement. All right. So, Hold on, so if I don't submit to the policeman, it's not because the policeman is weak. No. I'm too weak to submit. My employer, if I don't submit to my employer, not because the employer has a problem, I'm weak. 
Parents are submitting their, I mean, the kids are submitting their parents. Right. That's a weakness in the kid. Right. Am I making sense? Amen. Who else? Wife, submit, why submit yourself to your own husband? As a, so that means place yourself what? Under, Under his, authority. his authority. We don't like that anymore. It's, yeah. it's, it's so unpopular. Yeah. Right. Y'all right. yeah, like all do that first. What I'm saying? But 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 that's, that's because it has been misdefined as a weakness. Right. Yes, right. Yes, okay. Absolutely. And we don't want to be the misdefinition. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. But if you know the true definition, mm -hmm. then you understand. I'm stronger when I can do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, remember this. Anyone I submit myself to becomes more responsible than I am. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's part. That's Anyone I submit myself to, that person becomes more responsible Amen. and is held to a higher degree of accountability. That's it. Uh, that's, that's the part. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, submit to your pastor, your spiritual leaders. Mm -hmm. That's Romans 13, right? Yes, yes. Romans okay. 13. So, so then I have to do that. Now, in not doing that, that proves I am. We, we myself. Yes, sir. The past is held to a higher level of accountability and responsibility. Yes. So then submission is necessary. Number three. So, so, souls. So, so. All right. Liberty purely the ministry of the time, pastoral support, missions, and other biblical offerings, <laughs> and thereby endorsing the kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, supporting the kingdom financially is my endorsement of it. Yes. Anything I give my money to, I'm endorsing that thing continually. I'm endorsing its increase. I'm endorsing its flourishing every time I give to it. Okay? When I, when I spend my money, I'm endorsing that product. Right. I'm endorsing that brand. Yes, sir. I'm endorsing that company, that corporation. Think about that. Your money is an endorsement. So if I endorse this ministry, my treasure will be here. And when my treasure is, that will my Heart, we also. That's the endorsement. You see? Yes, sir. All right. Very important. Uh, so we'll be one of the people who say, submits, and souls, and then of course what? Study. Okay. All right. We're talking about that very fast again. Okay. So we are helping people to study the Word of God, both grown ups and children. Number five. Is what? Serve. Okay? So we are a servant culture. A, a, a culture of saying, submitted, sowing, studying, serving people. Okay? Yes, sir. That's what, those are five characteristics that uh, describes our culture within this community of faith context. All right? All right. Serving in the kingdom. You want to say serving? Serving. All right? All right. Now, these are, this is how we use our spiritual gifts. Yes. Right. Right. Say spiritual gifts. So spiritual everybody gifts. needs to serve. That's one of our five characteristics. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse eleven to twelve, gives us a curriculum about spiritual gifts. Yes, sir. Amen. Hold your Bible up there. This is we're gonna this, we're gonna wrap up here. Okay. Based on this scripture. Based on this scripture. Okay. Yeah. Every Christian has been entrusted with spiritual yes. gifts. Okay. God did not leave one Christian ungifted. Ungifted. Thank you. Thank you. Not one. Thank you. Lord. Okay. All Christians have spiritual yes. gifts. Got it? Right. Okay. Now we need to understand that because gifts make you responsible. Uh, we ought not be ignorant but not, not unaware of them. Right? Now look at verse 3. Therefore I make known to you that no one speaking about the Spirit of God says Jesus is cursed. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now there are, verse 4, varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. Spirit. All right? So now the provider of the gifts is the Spirit. Right. He provides the gifts. He provides the gifts. Okay? And there are varieties of ministries. All right? But the same Lord. The same now, Lord. now get this now. Gifts <coughs> are connected to ministries. All right? 
gifts have to be connected to ministries. Amen. Ministries are modes of serving. Mm -hmm. Gifts give you the capacity to serve. Right. 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 So the goal is for 100% of the members in the church to be connecting their gifts mm -hmm. to ministries of service. Yes, sir. No one in the church should claim, I don't need to serve. Yeah. That's a bogus claim. Yeah. Got it? All right, he's a provider of these gifts, and the purpose of those gifts is for serving. Now, all right, then he says, uh, but the, each one is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. Yeah. The manifestation, now he's talking about all uh, the gifts. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay? How do I know I have the Holy Spirit? Because there's a gift that manifests. Yes, sir. And, and you're going to see the gift how? Because I'm using it in the service. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know you have the gift unless you serve with it. Yes, yes, yes. Make making sense? Yes. That's the manifestation of it. That's how the gift manifests is through serving. Yes. Okay? For the one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge according to the same Spirit, another faith by the same Spirit, another gifts of healing by the same Spirit, another effective miracles, another prophecy, another distinguished Spirit, another various kinds of tongues, another interpretation of tongues, another, all that but, but one and the what? Same Spirit works all these things. Okay? So whatever the gifts are, this is not a comprehensive list of gifts, it's just giving you a variety. Right, right, right. Whatever the gift is, it's still the same spirit. Right. And we have to answer to the same Lord. Right. I have to answer to the Lord for how I use the gift that I receive from the Spirit. Yes, sir. That's going to be one of the most horrible days for a Christian to get to heaven. Yeah. And then you rebuke because you didn't use your gift. I gave you all of this. It's impossible for someone unsaved to have gifts. Yes, so you cannot have a spiritual gift. That's the Holy Spirit that He gives you. Yeah, right. He doesn't give a, a spiritual gift to an unspiritual person. Yeah, that's right. right. Okay. On the side, I, I'm giving. I'm, I don't mean just necessarily because He's giving and stuff. He's no, no. Saved or yeah. Okay, remember redeemed. Okay. When I'm born again of the Spirit, I get the gift of the Spirit through my being redeemed. That's right. Okay. You see? So, Bishop, is there a way for people to, or for someone to help people cultivate their, their gifts? Yes. Like some people are stronger in the gifts and know it and naturally work in them. Some yes. So, so, when we do spiritual gifts analysis, we have to discover. A right. gift discovers it has to be developed. Yeah, right. Okay? That's why the choir rehearses every week. Right, right, right. right. Like that's, says, that's why teachers have to be trained. Right. I'm having a gift to teach, but now right. I got to develop my gift. Right. Because I don't want to give God average. Right. Yeah. Oh, yes. um, okay? I'm going to have the gift of hospitality, but then I want to perfect that gift yeah. by learning how to do it better. Absolutely. Okay? Yes. Yes. Make an effort like if we see a person out here, you know, just giving that money and just doing something. Okay, just you know, a rich person, or we just assume he's saved. No, mm -hmm. we we supposed to at least try to find out if he's saved. You know, who are you doing this for God or are you doing it for Satan? Should we? How we can handle that? But but it, 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 all all that's very very very. I want to uh, for this. No, no, I'm, I'm saying. That all depends on the particular situation. Right. Okay, so there's no cookie cookie cutter answer to that in a very general sense. Okay, but but let's to, to your, your your first question. Because a person is giving away money and anything else, does not mean they're Christian. Right. Okay, you can be a nice guy and go to hell. Right. Right. Okay. So we witness the people. Period. Right. Whether they're rich, poor, white, black, or brown, it doesn't matter. Yes. I just need clarification. Can you give me a definition of a spiritual gift? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay, a spiritual gift is a unique ability given to an individual by the Holy Spirit himself. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, so then, let me give you just a couple of examples. I, I like to take talk examples. Mm -hmm. uh, so, 
Um, 